Uh, welcome to this week's episode of Operation Support Local. I am your host, Derek Fage. We have another exciting show for you, and we're going to start with a couple of young girls who got into helping people and young budding entrepreneurs figure out how to sell their products and services online. This is done through Incubator 13, which is a great space for co-working, training, and also provided a unique event space for people. Well, part of Market 13 is getting vendors together, training them, and figuring out how to do it in a new digital world. Market 13 is really an amazing project that Adele and I have been working on for a while. Um, what, essentially what we're doing is we've created an online marketplace where shop owners and local business owners who may not have as much experience with a digital marketplace learn how to use that, learn how to use an online store, learn how to sell their products digitally. And we've so far we have five vendors on the store, three service-based and two products-based. And all of them are really excited to get this launch. They're excited to be able able to um, sell their products online during this time especially when a lot of them have suffered because of COVID-19 and we're all really excited for the launch of this program and the fact that it's been launched a couple days ago we're excited to see the impact of it. The idea of the project actually came from our supervisor Sebastian and we're currently under Incubator 13 which is a program with the under the Rita Rockcliffe Community Resource Center. So he had always wanted to build an online marketplace for these business owners and these entrepreneurs, but um, there was never really enough time to build it until Rebecca and I, we kind of came along as volunteers, and then now we're working for Incubator 13. So we kind of took this project under our own hands, and now we've been building it since then. We started with designing the project itself, figuring out exactly what it would look like. Adele took on more of a tech role while I've been looking more at communication with the vendors. I've been doing a lot of writing contracts, writing grant applications, things like that, and a lot of looking online for how we can possibly make this work. Um, it's definitely been a bit adaptable. I've done a bit of everything. All the current vendors on the store are somehow related to Incubator 13. So we have currently five vendors, four of which are alumni of Incubator 13, and the other one is a mentor with Incubator 13. So we actually got a hold of them and got to tell them about the project through Sebastian. He kind of gave us their contact information and we reached out to them. So the product-based vendors, it's quite um, straightforward. You kind of just buy the product online, kind of like Amazon. But for the three service-based um, businesses, we have a request a quote page where um, they can kind of specify their, um, their needs more precisely so that we can connect them to the vendors so they can discuss it further in detail. Currently what we're doing with the vendors is we're showing them how to what their own page looks like at Shopify, we're showing them uh, how the store works and sort of teaching them about their particular platform on it. In the future um, now that the store is launched we're going to be moving less into building the store and more with working with the vendors on the store and showing them how to use those specific features that we got them on their platform. Uh, we also hope to run a couple of seminars and webinars and things like that just to teach them how to use Shopify and teach them about the Digital Main Street program if that's something they're interested in looking into. First of all, we want to make sure that we can get a lot of these local businesses online so that and they have the tools to manage their own online store in the future. But even more than that, we hope that we can kind of encourage buyers to shop locally and shop more sustainably. So we hope that through this program and through this store, we can kind of introduce a lot of these local businesses to buyers who may not have heard of them. And then it kind of encourage them to, um, instead of looking through at these big corporations look, looking to them for products and services, we can kind of push them to a more sustainable path. Hopefully the future of this site is just expanding, getting more businesses on the site, and graduating the ones that we currently have so that they're able to run their own. We really see this as a continuous program where we're getting new vendors on the site and it's always going to be updated with new information. 